Darlington welcome AFC Telford United to a wet and windy Blackwell Meadows this afternoon in a rearranged season opener. Mutual FA Cup elimination giving both sides a chance to rearrange the fixture for today. A side that haven't won at home welcomes a side that haven't won away. Both sides will be hoping for an improvement on that record today as the Quakers welcome new signing Danny Ellis straight into the starting lineup. Having almost all of the possession so far. Griffiths takes that ball. I think it does hang up in the wind a little bit, so I'd say Darlington do have that advantage. Ball is played left down the Telford left-hand side, and it comes into the box. It's a free header. It's offside. Flag's gone up, but that hit the post. Jason Oswell with the header. Flag so. went up straight away, but had the penalty area all to himself almost there, didn't he? It was a complete free header, wasn't it? But... Uh, Story went in short uh, to get the first ball there, and when the cross came in, flag went up. And I tell you what, didn't I'm look like there was a lot in it. I'm Smith finds Wheatley in an ocean of space there. Telford switched off a little bit. Wheatley finds Dos Santos, touches a little heavy, but he keeps it. Gets his head up and finds Charman's feet, 35 yards from goal. He goes back to Headley. Headley then inside to Hatfield, Hatfield to Rivers. Balls with Charman, right-hand side, back inside to Hatfield, 30 yards from goal. Ball finds Wheatley, Wheatley swings his left foot at it, but uh, doesn't really threaten the goal too much. Ball is played back to uh, Griffiths, the goalkeeper, and he slides a little five-yard pass to Theo Street. Tell the street pass is poor, and uh, Hatfield seizes upon it and finds Dos Santos. Dos Santos is running at his full back, comes inside the first one. He's still going into the boxes, Dos Santos. Plays it into the box, but Cassidy can't get on it. If at first you don't succeed there by Dos Santos, Indeed. really. Did well Smith to, to Wheatley, the there's a bit of space. Wheatley comes inside. He's got a chance for the shot if he wants it, but he finds Charman on the edge of the box. Charman does have the shot, just a yard or so wide of the goal. Just opened up for Joe to have a shot himself there, but he lays Wheatley back to Ellis. Ellis just has to pop one forward under a little bit of pressure there, but Darlington pick a second ball up. Rivers has beaten his man there and has the chance to come inside where he finds Charman. Corner of the 18 yard box. Charman drops a shoulder, gets the shot away. It's into the grateful arms of Russell Griffiths. Catches a little nick on the way through. Takes a little bit of the sting out of it and maybe changes its direction, but in the end, a comfortable save for Griffiths. But good work by Rivers to get away from Burko first of all, and then he finds Charman, makes his way into the box and has a shot. Slide. to test that keeper see if that if he did have a fitness test pre-game make sure it was the right decision I hope it was the wrong one to well. be honest <laughs> Smith's on the ball it's another poor pass from Telford ball through the middle street slides in but it's going to come to Dos Santos Dos Santos with a chance to shoot good save rebounds there flag stays down balls in the back of the net through Luke Charman Darlington take the lead and you have to say they deserve it oh we're going to high five Mike we are <laughs> Darlington take the lead at Blackwell Meadows for the first time this season. Dos Santos does well at first to make space for his shot. Griffiths palms it away, but Charman following in. And the Quakers lead. Big sense of jubilation and relief around here at Blackwell Meadows. It was a great ball to start with from Smith, and Theo Street slid in to try and block it, but it fell into the path of Dos Santos. Dos Santos kept his composure, and he... Uh, Got the goal bounce shot away to Griffiths left, but Griffiths could only palm it out to the side, and uh, Charman was uh, seizing upon the rebound all on his yeah, own. He had he all the time all the in the world. In. He was all the way in there. Was Joe Whitley found Rivers, and I think he was tripped off the ball there, but play goes on through Headley. Headley playing one into the box, looking for Dos Santos. Dos Santos turns it back and gives it back to Wheatley. Wheatley takes a step over, finds Headley. Headley's cross is a loopy one, which Street clears. Headley plays the sideways well ball to Smith, though. Hatfield and Wheatley playing the ball through the middle. Charman pops up in the hole. Is he going to try to take a shot? Takes a deflection, just a yard over the bar after the touch off the defender. Well, we know what he can do from that kind of distance. If we go off traditional squad numbering, 13 is William Huffer. Could be him. Back underway through Taylor, who takes the goal kick. Looking for Cassidy. Cassidy... And Roberts compete for it in the air, and uh, the ball finds a Telford player. There's uh, played ball played forward, but Ellis just slides it back. Oh, that's a bad one that's there. 
That's uh, Taylor who went for the ball and uh, it was Kyle Bennett, experienced Kyle Bennett who slid in on Taylor. He's got a yellow card for his trouble. Yeah, Ellis's ball back to Taylor wasn't the best there, but he chests it down and gets an absolute clattering from uh, Kyle Bennett who picks up the yellow card for his troubles. Headley takes the throw and finds Wheatley. Wheatley back to Headley and then Rivers. Rivers step over and then back to Wheatley few yards in from the right hand touch line sideline should I say ball comes inside to Hatfield who then finds Headley Darlington patient in possession here just waiting for an opening Headley plays it into the box Dos Santos almost able to get on the end of it it was a great ball from Headley very clever pass all the way across the face of goal ball's been kept alive by Cassidy who's taken it off the toes of Jed Abbey Cassidy now finds Dos Santos. Dos Santos is on the corner of the box, finds Charman. Charman to Cassidy. Could be a chance for Hatfield to get a shot away. Shot get, takes a deflection and it uh, finds the arms of Griffiths. Throw to Griffith in the end, but. Yeah, not, not as dominant in those challenges so far. Ball's played forward from Telford and the referee spotted an infringement there. Got a couple of yard run up as Durrell, so I would imagine he's probably going to just clip one into the box. Let's see. Going to hang one up, is he? Yep. Chips it in. There's a header onto the crossbar. It's Oswell who Jason had the Oswell dive and header and it hit the top of the crossbar. Well, he hit the post in the first half and now he's hit the crossbar in the second half, and that one would have counted. Yeah, I didn't think there was much in the infringement, to be honest, but uh, Telford almost made it mm. count. Another warning to the Quakers to wake up and stay stay switched on on this one. He just gets to the ball ahead of anyone there. He's got all. Of, he's got he's got two or three yards all the way around him in a circle there, hasn't he? If you like, there's not anybody any closer than that. And Darlington's defence, which has looked solid yeah, all simple, day, was simple breached ball there. Simple ball in, simple diving header, and a yard lower, and this game's even again. Smith back to Story. Story is looking for Rivers with a diagonal ball, Charman's chasing for the second, Wheatley then trying to fight for possession in the middle but it's hooked clear by Telford and only as far as, by, as, far as Ellis who finds Ben Headley, no Callum Griffiths today in the match day 16, ball's played looking for Cassidy, Cassidy gets a flick on to find Dos Santos, let's see if Dos Santos can beat his man, he comes inside, Cassidy to Charman, Charman with a chance to shoot, shoots, oh, it's yes. the back of the net, second goal for Luke Charman, Darlington go two up. There's your spark, Luke Charman with his second of the game, Darlow's second of the game, collects the ball from a layoff from Cassidy on the edge of the area and just sweeps it right footed into the corner, superb finish from Charman, that's at least six for the season now, Darlington lead 2-0. Well, we enjoyed that one. So I don't know if uh, I don't know if Telford scouting report contained the line. Don't let Charman have the ball 25 yards from goal because he'll hurt you. But that's uh, exactly what happened, and we know that we've seen it so many yes, times last season have. in this. And uh, he just had five, six yards of space, 25 yards from goal, took a touch bent it to the keeper's left and the keeper had no chance really. Yeah, the body language from the visitors isn't that of a side that wants to get back into this particularly desperately. No, not so far. We've got a chance to uh, load the box here because Griffiths, the goalkeeper, is going to take this free kick from just a couple of yards inside his own half and lump it into the mix. It's uh, headed clear by a Darlington player. I think it might have been Headley and then the shot's sliced over the bar by what's, your expert, what's your expert summariser opinion on what's going on in the game last 15 minutes are Darlington just um, running the game down and that's it why Telford's coming into it or I think is it is, I mean we've seen it the opposite way haven't we this season where teams have taken their foot off the gas a bit against us and we've been able to find a way back into the game and we start to threaten a bit more but Darlin as we say that Darlington with a chance to counter now, Rivers blocked the ball might have touched an arm there but now Dos Santos is breaking with a chance to shoot oh, and he's oh, burst yes. the net with that Kevin Dos Santos and there's the third I'm not going to finish what I was saying about taking our foot off the gas because Kevin Dos Santos has just put his foot on the gas and leathered that into the top corner first goal for Darlington and it's a special one Great finish by Dos Santos and he certainly enjoyed it, came inside his man, brought it onto his right foot, blasted it from 20 yards and when you watch the highlights you're going to enjoy watching that rip into the top corner of the net. That was a superb first goal 
in dialogue over the colours for Kevin Dos Santos. He started today. He'll have been told, go out there and show us why you should be starting more often. And he's going to go in when the final whistle goes and he's going to say, that's why I should be starting more often. Just a word there, the, the Telford players are having an argument with the ref and I could understand why because there was a clearance made and uh, I thought Rivers blocked it with, with his arm involved, to be honest. So being fair, we, we were yeah, criticised for being We never got a chance to comment on it in the build-up because it all happened so quickly after that, but I saw that too. Telford will break and they've got a chance to counter here. Darlington have left themselves man short, but Ellis just stands tall, steps in and tidies up in an emphatic way. And then Purvis played a lovely ball into the path of Mondal. Mondal plays the ball all the way across the face of goal and Street slides in and steers it back to the goalkeeper. Best, best selling albums. If only the X Factor was still around. I'd love to see the look on their face when Simon Cowell suggested that. Telford get us back underway. They're going to try and get some consolation from this game. Deflected shot there by uh, Williams into the arms of Taylor and that's and that the final that. effort. Darlington get their first home win in front of fans for an awful long time. Two goals from Luke Charman, one from Kevin Dos Santos, Mike. Darlington 3, Telford 0. Absolutely deserved, no question about it. Darlington are off the back. Telford leave today. Still pointless on the road. And uh, never really looked like coming away with anything today. Absolutely no question that the Quakers deserve all three points and great to have us finally off the mark. Let's hope that's the start of better things to come ahead for the Quakers. Still plenty of games left this season. That's only the seventh league game, isn't it? it? Is. It's a long season. And uh, with the early exit from the FA Cup, it allows us to just concentrate on...